Hey guys, it's Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And today I want to talk about a tool haul that I that I made a little bit ago. And it's not in regards to all these awesome Knipex tools that I absolutely love. And I really do feel like Knipex just makes some of the best tools in the world. Like, I will never not have you know, Cobras be my, my go-to and, you know, I'm like their linesman's, to this date, favorite linesman's pliers, you know, their, the plier wrenches, the whole thing. These will never not be basically my favorite tool brand, I don't think. However, Kinetpex is really expensive and, uh, as long as things aren't made in Germany, or Germany, made in China, I'm usually okay with that you know just in an ideal world and these are all made in germany to a very high standard but um i live in america and i wanted to find a tool brand that had uh, the levels of quality that i look for but was better priced than uh, the knipex because like i said these are expensive um, and, uh, there is a amazing brand out there that I'm sure you already know what it is that you can buy that is made in America, does cost less, and is really close to the level of quality. So I'm going to scooch these over and bring these in. Channel lock. Like I said, I'm sure all of you are expecting that. Um, this is just a little selection here that I picked up. This is all I got, but... Um, you know, there might be more on the way, who knows? Um, I'm just going to go through these really quick, uh, a little dishonest cause these I've actually had for a while. These are the E318 CBs by far my favorite, uh, needle nose right now. I uh, just like that. They're robust at the tips. I actually really like these comfort grip grips on it. And the big thing, especially other than the robust gripping, is uh, these cutters. The high leverage on these things is great. Um, I forget what they cost, but they cost less than than these did. I'll tell you that much. Uh, next up on the list, I'll just scooch these over, are some dikes. These, I think these are, these can't be 8 inch, are they? These are either 8 or 9 inch. Uh, with the comfort grip, I wish I had not got the comfort grip in these. I don't think it was necessary, and they are a little bit bulky. But uh, you can see, you know, great action. Great action. They've got the high leverage. They cut amazingly. Um, these teeth are a little bit uh, deep in there. It's not to my highest level of preference. I might try to find a dipped version of these, or there a smaller version of these that don't have as robust of teeth. So you can see that they're just, you know, neither of these cut flush, but these are less flush. Not a huge deal. They're beasts, so I really like those. And then they're linesman's pliers with comfort grip again. And they, uh, or code blue is kind of what they call their comfort grip. I, I do like their comfort grip style overall. It's not too sticky. It definitely evens out the force applied. Uh, they are pretty nice, so I'll just say that. Um, very well made, once again, good action. They're just big and beefy. The high leverage pivot is a beast. Um, you know, I didn't even realize this. If you look at how these are ground on the tip there, you see how they're kind of slanted up, and I thought that was a manufacturing defect. But no, that's just how linesmen's are made, I think, because the Kinepex are the same way. It's just a lot more casual. Um, they're both the same. Actually, these are would be a 9.5, and, and are these a 10? Oh, look at that, the channel locks are bigger. Um, but I do wish that the channel lock jaw was wider. Because with a linesman, like I will always take with. But these both have high leverage pivots and they cut just amazing. I love these things. I love big, beastly pliers. So there's those. I mean, it's a pair of slip joint pliers. I mean, what can you say? They're fine. Got two pairs of uh, channel lock channel locks. So the 430s. So just classic right there. 
Um, these are new to me, the 422s. I had never tried out the angled jaw ones before. And I think most people tend to prefer the standard, but I find that the handles are always too far apart for perfection for me on a standard pair of channel locks. And it obviously depends on how you're engaging with what it is you're grabbing. So that's why these tend to sit closer, but uh, you get kind of a, they're, they're a little bit easier to keep comfortable, I feel. And these are nine and a half inch ones. So that might be part of it too, that they're a little bit smaller. But uh, they don't grip quite like a Cobra does, but man, they do the job. That's the same thing with those, you know, they just do the job. So those are great. And then these are my replacement of the plier wrenches from Kinipex. Uh, just going back to the crescent wrench. But these are very nice crescent wrenches. Um, not made in America. They are made in Spain. So that's great. These are their code blue wide as a Z Z um, uh, crescent wrenches. I particularly like this little one. I think the comfort grips are super comfortable. That said, I have been uh, pushing on this and instead of, especially with these, I just kind of like to push as far as I can reset, but I was pushing down and at this kind of downward anger angle, I did pull the handle right off. So they do come off. I haven't been able to sit here and pull it off myself. So they're on there well, but not crazy well. So you might want to epoxy one of these babies on if you start experiencing that, which is what I was going to do. I was going to pull it off and epoxy it, but wasn't able to do it. But, you know, it doesn't make it too, too bulky, but it's, it's really comfortable. It's kind of like slippery, but not... You know, obviously not as slippery as metal. It's a nice texture of a handle, well thought out and executed. And what I love about these things is super smooth action. They don't uh, bind up on you. They do have measurements on both sides, SAE and metric. But these things get huge, huge. I mean, look at that thing. This is a six inch or 170 millimeter a wrench here and you can get on some giant oh almost i think maybe it is a full inch and a half this is inch and a half right there nope not quite an inch and a half probably a 16th short uh so you can get on huge stuff with that so i like just throwing this one in my pocket and using it to break things loose um and then here's the eight inch one which i've used less but is probably the better all-arounder but i just really like that little one but yeah really nice action um uh, i've i walked around and loosened about uh eight eight yeah eight um probably three quarter plugs with this and uh finished tightening him with this and i just did it stuck it in my pocket went on to the next one and uh, i never had to readjust or anything didn't round over anything so definitely good uh, uh, quality and well-executed uh, crescent wrenches. Uh, not, uh, not as convenient as a plier wrench in terms of speed, but definitely not a piece of junk. So that's my tool haul with the spirit of trying out high quality tools that are mostly made in America. Um, for a less expensive because these are this is a lot of cost all these Knipex so that's why I wanted to try out these and some honorable mentions here is the Tsunida brand these are made in Japan they got these off the project farm these are some great slip joints and then I have been trying out the Milwaukee's as well they're probably made in China or Taiwan I'm not sure Actually, it doesn't say, so it's that's interesting. But anyways, I've been trying out these as well. But so far, these have been my preference because of that wide-ass jaw. So, yeah. Really give channel lock a look. Not just their actual channel lock channel locks, but check out their crescent wrench. Check out their plier brand or line. They're really, really good. And they are less expensive than the Kinetics. So... That's all I've got. Have a good one. Bye.